Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just want to let you know about some things that's been going on with me lately. Um, last weekend was my birthday, so I didn't do too much uh, Ubering then. But uh, let me tell you, uh, I picked up this uh, Caucasian girl from, I don't know, I can't remember where it was. But I took her to a gala that was going on in Century City. Now, the funny thing is, back in 90... Two to 98, I used to work temp agency, but she said that they were having a wars ceremony for temps. Isn't that amazing how things have changed over the decades? <laughs> Here it is, 2000 and they're doing things like that. And that was nice, so I took her to somewhere in Century City. Then when I got out there, I received uh, another request. And the, the funny thing about it was I went at the Century City Mall on Santa Monica Boulevard, the request came in. I accepted it. As soon as I got to where the lady was located, she was like, I don't know what happened. It canceled. And I said, I, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to retrieve it. I wish there was a way that we can actually maybe send out certain requests for certain drivers. That way that we can know that they want the, the ride on another day or something like that. Hopefully... You know, Uber will think about something like that. Um, and then uh, she said, oh, well, sorry for uh, having you to come over here. I said, that's okay. I was already in the area anyway. She was like, all right. And I, then I got another request. I said, oh, they, I just got an, another request. She was like, okay, go ahead and take it. So she waited. She was like, she just run to Larry believe because it was cold. And, you know, California weather, you don't know how the weather's going to be. They tell you it's going to be one thing. And a few hours later, it's dropped down so many degrees where it's gotten so cold. So anyway, so then I picked up this uh, Asian kid at, I said, I'm sorry, Asian kid. He wasn't a kid. It was an adult. It's just when people are like 10 years younger than me, I just call them kids and I shouldn't. So anyway, I picked him up from like Avenue of the Stars and he went somewhere off of Melrose. He wasn't very talkative. He was tired. He said he had just gotten off of work and he hates working on the weekends. I don't blame you. I probably wouldn't be doing it either if I wasn't um, having a little issue with my job. So <clears throat> anyway, so then after I dropped him off, I got another request, uh, picked up somebody off of Melrose, took them to Silver Lake, not very talkative lady. Uh, then I picked up, uh, I turned off the app, uh, well, I turned off the driving mode, and once I got closer into my area, then I turned the app back on to drive mode. I got another request off of Wilshire in uh, Koreatown, and she wanted to go to the Shrine Auditorium. Now, the funny thing is, she said that she travels um, because she's a, a big fan of somebody that's from Singapore. So she came out here by herself to go to a concert. That's a true fan for you. So I got to put her, my hands up to her. Woo, woo. She's a big fan of this person. I don't know who the singer is. She told me, but I don't remember. Anyway, um, so then I started getting requests over there by USC because the Shrine Auditorium is the USC um, basically in the same vicinity. So I got a request off of 28, dropped them off at USC. Then I got another request off of 30th Street took them to a concert at the L.A. Coliseum. And the funny thing about that was once they told me it was uh, who it was going to be, I was like, oh, really? I was, sh I don't know, shocked, I guess. Everybody nowadays listens to rap music just about. So it was a couple, and they said, you know, it's an outside co concert, and it, it goes on maybe like once a year. I don't know. They, you know, so many places do so much different things nowadays. You never know how it's going to be. Then I picked up uh, this girl who was buying some tea. She was, uh, I could hear her cough, and I said, you know, you need to go and get you some tea with some lemon and some ginger in it. Drink it. You get rid of that phlegm in your body, and your um, coughing will go away. I don't know why I'm itching, I guess, because I didn't put no lotion on. Just got off the bathtub. So she was like, all right. So then I dropped her off, and then I got another re re uh, request off of 25th Street. To Jefferson, um, this guy who um, I guess locked the keys in his car, and I was telling him 
that he needs to get AAA because it probably would be cheaper on his part where he doesn't have to pay so much money to go back to wherever he lives and just call AAA. It's only $48 and you get six uh, requests from them to come and do either give you a jump or bring you some gas, take your keys out of your car six times a year. So I think it's worth it. So he was like, um, thank you for uh, waiting for me. And I said, yeah, I'm I'm going to wait for you, uh, I, even though I accidentally canceled it. But I had already told him. I didn't want to tell him um, I'm going to take you back and not take you back. So I took him back, and he was like, just drop me off at the um, credit, um, at the ATM. So after he took his money out, he gave me a 20 I was like, what, $20? He didn't have to, but, hey, I actually was... That was kind of, that's kind of hard of him. And I guess that was kind of hard of me actually take him back to his house to get his keys. So, you know, that was pretty cool. Then I picked up somebody off of 33rd Street and fig and dropped them off of 28th. I couldn't tell you who it was. There's <laughs> so many people over there in that area. Then the uh, Figueroa was so congested because the Shrine Auditorium was having something. And L.A. Coliseum was having something. And it was on Saturday nights. So everybody was on the street. Double parked and everything. So after I got to USC, uh, I dropped off these three girls somewhere off of 28th Street. That you could tell when a person doesn't want to talk to you. Because it's like either they start whispering so you don't hear what they're talking about. Or once you say, hey, how you doing? They say, oh, I'm fine. And then it's like, that's it. They don't say nothing else. Then they're basically talking amongst themselves. So... You know, I, I picked them up, dropped them off, and um, they were probably like spoiled rich kids, I would call them, um, college, you know, USC students. And then um, I got to some street off of Scarf Street, dropped him off, um, I don't know, maybe about eight blocks away, kind of creepy looking, uh, <laughs> that's what I could say. Um, but he seemed pretty nice, and he said he had just came out here from India, so... The best for him. And then I picked up this girl that was uh, Indian. And the weird thing about it is when you receive a pool for Uber, you get the request. You kind of get confused because it's like you have one conversation with somebody. Then next thing you know, you got to go pick up another person. And you're not really sure where you're going. So I wind up going to pick up this guy from Ralph's. And he happened to be going to the same uh, apartment complex is the girl. So I dropped them off in the same place. Then when I left there, I picked this, um, uh, Hawaiian guy up from the gallon center, dropped him off somewhere off of Adams and Magnolia. And he was pretty cool. You know, he was, um, excited saying he had just gotten off of work and he has been using Uber since Uber came out 2012. So, uh, he seemed pretty nice and, um, talkative so that's pretty cool then i picked up somebody in the jefferson park area dropped him off in hawthorne and he said he's been using uber for a couple of years now and he said because he has a car and he has to get it fixed up and it's not like a car that you drive every single day it's a car like a sunday car you take it out just on sundays when it's a nice time to go to the beach you know you want to cruise or whatever so he's in the process of doing that so that was pretty cool of him and I thought he was like a kid but I guess he's 30 some years old so hey everybody has their own means of transportation nowadays and some people put pick metro some people pick um um Culver City Transit some people Santa Monica some Long Beach um some people pick uh Lyft some people pick L.A. Taxi. It all depends. But nowadays, it's Uber and it's Lyft. For those of you that are not familiar with the transportation in Los Angeles, California. So once again, if you appreciate my videos, make sure you like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, you want to sign up, the link is down below. Subscribe to my channel. And like everyone else, share on your social media. And happy Sunday. Jesus love you. Deuces.